Hey, what's up YouTube? Today I'm in San Jose, California. So in this video, I'll be giving you a tour of uh, downtown San Jose and just talking about the area and what it's like. So at the moment, I'm sitting at San Pedro Square, which is a nice hangout spot. Um, there's bars, there's restaurants, there's live music, there's all kinds of things going on. After work, there's um, happy hours all over the place. So all hours of the day, you see people uh, here hanging out, enjoying themselves. Over the past couple of years, this place, San Pedro Square, has really expanded and it's really become uh, a hot spot. And what I like is that um, both sides of the streets are filled up with restaurants. Plus there's an actual marketplace, which is full of um, restaurants and bars. There's also a, um, a barber shop in the inside of it. You see people coming out here, socializing, having drinks, or um, if one of the teams are playing, like the, um, the Golden State Warriors, um, the San Francisco Giants, the San Jose Sharks, people like to come out and catch the game. Um, so in San Jose, this is one of the hot spots outside of um, um, Santana Row, which is down the street, but I'm not really gonna focus on that part of San Jose. So to give you a perspective, I, I think San Jose is the third biggest city in California. It's the biggest city in the Bay Area, but a lot of people don't know that. So when people are talking about the Bay Area, they're mainly thinking about San Francisco, and then Oakland, and then San Jose. So. It, if you watched my previous videos, you'll know that um, I left California two years ago to move to Dubai. And so I've come back to take care of some things. And um, I'm really surprised um, um, of what I see walking around. One, you know, I see that the city is wide open despite what um, you see on the news and the media. If you watch my other videos um, on San Francisco and Oakland, you know, I've said that numerous times. Um, you know, people are out here having a good time. Um, people are out here um, um, back to work, and I'm talking to my friends, and it seems like things are going well for them. And I see, on one hand, you know, the city's recovering, it's resilient, it's thriving, actually, the whole Bay Area. But then, awesome, but I see. Um, some of the poverty, a lot of homelessness, and that, which has always been a problem. Um, walking down the street, I saw 
a window of a car that was broken, which has also um, been a problem in the past. Um, what I see more of is that um, a lot of small businesses, I'm gonna say, well, actually not a lot, but you know, I saw more small businesses that were boarded up in a downtown area. So in this area, I would say you have haves, the haves and the have nots. This is a, one of the most expensive cities in America to live in um, and in the Bay Area. So again, I'm just focusing on a small area. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in downtown. So um, in terms of size, San Jose, if I didn't mention earlier, it's actually the biggest city in the Bay Area but it gets the least recognition. Like Again, like I said earlier, most people uh, aren't fam that familiar with San Jose. So the downtown area is small, but there's this big sprawling suburb, suburban area, um, which is the greater San Jose area. And so like, if you were to buy a home out here, you'd probably drop somewhere near a million dollars. When I was um, renting my apartment, I was paying an average of uh, $3,000 a month. So to give you a better perspective, my last apartment um, with rent, utilities and all, I was paying $3,500. Before I left, I was looking to buy a place and I had $650,000 I mean, $650, to buy a place. And unfortunately that wasn't enough. Like I was getting priced out. One of the last places that I put an offer on, they listed it for like around 500,000. My realtor said, try and overbid. Let's start with um, overbidding $50,000. Unfortunately, I didn't, get, I didn't get a place because the place ended up selling for around $899,000. And according to the, the records, the place was only worth about around $500,000. So that's, what it was like and over the over the pandemic over the past two years you know the housing market has was really hot so it probably got even worse with the high cost of living typically what you'll find is multiple people living in an apartment um, I remember um, I lived so when I first moved here I lived down the street on Alameda and there's an apartment below me and it was a two bedroom apartment, but I swore at least six or seven guys lived in that apartment. And so you probably had guys splitting up the room, they probably had bunk beds, guys probably sleeping in, in, in the living room. Same thing happens when people buy a house. Uh, they'll put it on Airbnb and rent out rooms uh, to help pay down their, their mortgage. So going away from San Jose, I actually have a little more appreciation for it, this place in terms of things to do. Um, just walking around, exploring like I'm a tourist. Um, you know, there's museums. There's a San Pedro Square place that I that I mentioned. Um, there's like the, the the bars. There's a theater. Um, there's all kinds of things to to, to do. Um, Typically, you know, in the Bay Area, you know, people who are down here in San Jose, they try to tend to stick down, stick to San Jose because to go up to San Francisco, it's like a 45 minute to one hour drive. So it makes it hard, like if you want to go out and actually have fun. Same thing if you want to go to Oakland. And that's not even including traffic. If traffic, you know, traffic, it gets even worse. And you can hit traffic on the weekends. So when I lived in San Jose, I tended to stick to San Jose. But sometimes, um, you know, I would go to other areas uh, to explore. But, like, if you never left San Jose, there's plenty for you to do because, you know, a drink is a drink. Food is food. Minus, like, a specialty restaurant that you might want to uh, uh, hit up. And shout out to um, one of my old jiu-jitsu um, training partners, um, David Nayfield. He has a restaurant up in San Francisco called uh, K Fico. So if you're ever in San Francisco, give Okay, Fico, a try. So, would I live here again? Would I recommend living here again? When I left Dubai, um, my, um, my job offer was a remote position based in California. 
and um, two years ago, if you would ask me if I was coming back to the area, I would have said, absolutely, I'm going to come back to, to California. But the things that um, um, are our turnoff are the high taxes, and also, um, you know, you pay so much money, and, you know, one corner it's nice, so like, for example, San Pedro, it's nice. Around the corner, it's not so nice. Um, unfortunately, you have, you know, people with mental health um, issues and who are living on the street and it's not like they're always the most pleasant people and so sometimes you know there's that risk factor if you pay a lot of money you want everything to you know be safe as can be and as good as can can be if you're considering San Jose you get a amazing opportunity and this makes sense for you then I would recommend it um, you'll enjoy it you know as I've been saying there's all kinds of things to do and I hadn't even mentioned the outdoor stuff. You know, the weather's always nice here. It doesn't get too hot and it really doesn't get too cold. And on the, you know, the weekends, you can go to, um, you know, hiking or you can go down to a place like Santa Cruz and go to the beach. <laughs> I remember when I first arrived, um, you know, people were saying, oh, you can go to the beach and the mountains in the same day. Well, that's a little bit harder. It's more of a challenge mainly because of the traffic. Another thing I wanted to add is, what is it, what is it gonna take to, to live here? So, in most places, if you make, you know, say, flat $100,000, you'll be all right. You'll be more than all right. You'll be in the upper echelon of wherever you're at, provided you're not in one of the most expensive cities in the U.S. or the world. Making it in the Bay remains difficult, whether you own a home or you rent. But here, you damn near be on the, the poverty level if you're making just $100,000 and you won't be able to afford a place of your own or um, or even buy a place unless you, with that $100,000 income, you already had um, investment somewhere or a significant amount of, of savings. So, is it, I mean, is it doable? Yeah. You know, guys, I got a little time in my hands, so I'm gonna walk around and show you a little more. So right now, uh, I'm in an area called the Alameda, which is right outside of, of downtown see if you look up there the alameda so that's where we're at right now so i happen to be right in front of the recycled bookstore one of my favorite places that i used to like to go to since i like to read i'm an avid reader and you find some amazing books here so if you're a reader and you're ever here in uh, san jose check out the recycled bookstore across the street you got Crema. So I'm gonna walk over by Crema. Um, Crema wasn't always right there. Um, it used to be down there in the house, but it used to be a nice place to post up. You find a lot of people that go there, connect their internet, um, connect their laptop, internet, and study, read books, and so on. Get some good coffee. One thing I used to love is the pistachio ice cream. This place put me on to pistachio ice cream. I didn't know anything about pistachio ice cream until I started going to, uh, to Crema. So here's the, the coffee shop I was telling you about, Crema. And so the Alameda, um, it pretty much starts at where the SAP Center is and it goes down that way. So we're gonna walk down this way and I'm gonna show you another one of my favorite spots. And it's a, uh, a burrito shop, I think. I personally think they have the, um, but I think this place has the best breakfast burritos in San Jose. And what I really love is called Cafe Rosalena. Cafe Rosalena. So they're famous for the breakfast burrito and orange sauce. And that was what I was about to say. When you go there, you definitely have to try the orange sauce. It's amazing. One thing I like about the area, um, especially along the Alameda and throughout San Jose, is the artwork that you find on the streets. Like for example, these electric boxes here, you can, when you, when you walk around, you'll see these painted electric boxes, which is really cool. Furthermore, speaking of art, um, I noticed that here in San Jose, they have a lot of old signs. 
that I don't know, probably 20, 30, 40, maybe 50 years old. And even if the business is not there, they leave the signs up. But this place still happens to be active and running, but they have a really old sign. So it looks pretty rustic and vintage. So directly across the street, there's a Whole Foods. And um, at the top of the Whole Foods, right over there, they have a, a brewery and they have draft brews and people go there hang out also at the bottom you can go eat but people will get their food from the um, they'll get their food they'll grab a drink and just socialize and i found people to be very friendly and welcoming especially when i first moved here and i didn't know anyone um i lived right across the street from this place so it was a nice place to to venture out and have to go too far and start to connect with people. And then right over there is the, the SAP Center. So the San Jose Sharks play there. Um, they have all kinds of events ranging from concerts. Oh, San Jose, you look amazing tonight. What's up, boss? Yeah, what's up, boss? Yeah, what's up, boss? Yeah, what's up, boss? To MMA, MMA fights. And then, Right, direct, pretty much directly across is the, um, the train station, Duradon train station. So you can catch um, the cow train and it's where people um, commute over to San Francisco. I think they're supposed to build uh, the BART, which is the Bay Area Regional Transit um, station down here. But I guess that's to be determined. As always guys, thanks for watching. I hope that this video was, was helpful. Hope it cast some light on San Jose, California. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, go ahead and leave it in, a, in the comment box and I'll answer as soon as possible. Thank you.